Hello, my name is Christian Wolter from Trade Vola. Um, as you might already know from some of our previous uh, videos, um, and today we want to talk about something where we got a lot of comments, a lot of requests, um, something um, outside of the normal stock or um, option trading, and it's um, cryptocurrencies. In the chart, you can see here the only um, cryptocurrency what is uh, available as a future what you can trade normally with all your different brokers, if it's the TWS, what we are using here from an active broker, or if it's TradeStation or um, something else, as it's um, registered since I think two years it, uh, almost, Bitcoin is the, the only um, thing what you can trade with your normal brokers. If you want to invest in some smaller um, or other cryptocurrency, you might need to have um, um, a separate um, broker or separate wallet where you can um, start to invest also in cryptocurrencies. For this, I know there are many, many different uh, ways or many different tools to use. Um, also, um, a lot of, I think, not really um, good brokers here in this industry with high fees, with um, especially also not really good rates for, for trading there. Um, but in one of our upcoming videos, we will go a little bit more detail in this topic to give you some information related to um, some crypto brokers or some ideas uh, what you need to what you need to know. And um, just to give you some information, what is the reason here um, of BRR? We can, for example, go to. Uh, the January future, we can see here the volume increase. Of course, the volume increase will always um, come when the last expiration date of the future um, is expired. Then the new future will always have a great um, or a higher volume than before. But what is really interesting to see if we check Bitcoin here in the chart, uh, middle of December we had um, 16, 17,000 um, dollar. And now, beginning of January, what is less than one month, we have the highest uh, value here of uh, $42,500. Uh, $42, and this is more than 100% in a short period of time um, of less than one month. And don't forget, here we still have gaps because the future is not um, tradable 24-7. But uh, with all the other cryptocurrencies, um, at the end you, you don't need to stop because it's, um, you can trade these from um, Monday to Sunday, uh, Sunday and this 24-7. So um, what is um, necessary for you, for you to know? I think the first thing we already showed also today, this uh, Bitcoin made like 10% um, um, up move. And um, this is like a normal day. I think we can see this also in a chart if I make it a little bit bigger for you. Um, the volatility. It's uh, very volatile, not only Bitcoin, of course, all the other um, cryptocurrencies as well. This can be a benefit because uh, um, you can earn in a short period of time um, definitely more than uh, what you can earn with some big stocks um, like Apple or Facebook. And here, um, as we can see, 100% even with a good earnings result it's not possible in, a, in such a short time with any of these um, tech, um, tech companies. So this of course can be risk and um, a profit um, or like a chance as well. But on the other hand side uh, what is also something what you have to keep in mind that there is not the same like with the stocks you don't have news, you don't have your trading hours as I said you have um, uh, the opportunity to trade this 20, 24 7 and these are all things what might it might be a little bit more complicated for um, for basic um, stock investor but I think for the future there's um, still even if it's on a high value now uh, might be interesting because um, with all the exchange rates inflation or other things um, Bitcoin as it already is is um, still something what um, it's interesting to pay stuff, uh, to exchange uh, currency, to make uh, money transfers and all these um, will even um, come up more I think in the next uh, few years 
if it's only Bitcoin or if you see other um, interesting um, cryptocurrencies in the same way like Ethereum or um, Ripple or how all these um, uh, cryptocurrencies um, which are from the, um, from the volume or from the tradable um, side the most, um, the most common at the moment might be um, yeah, really interesting for also for long-term investment to keep it um, just to be on the safe side exactly like uh, what you do with a stock portfolio you you only you don't trade like only one stock normally in your portfolio we will have a selection of 10 20 different stocks so I think it's also interesting to keep this um, for the next few years or keep a few um, cryptocurrencies as well and as you can't do this normally with your um, bank with your broker you need to know what are um, important things um, to to double check in the beginning, especially um, how you pay, what is the fees for um, um, yeah, for paying on your money or for buying uh, cryptocurrencies. Um, there's like, if you pay for credit cards, sometimes four or 5% fee. This is more than what you pay um, for every um, fund, for example. So these are all things what you need to keep in mind. What is so the security? How is the protection? This is a little bit easier than normally uh, with stocks, but all these details, we would like to show you in the next um, in one of our next videos and um, just to give you some more information here of the crypto chart we will also go to the continuous contract um, i think now in total we are talking about um, two years where this is available as a future but just to show it one more time, um, yeah, it will take a while to get all this information, all the data here in the TWS. Um, but volatil uh, volatility is uh, really, really a big, um, a big difference to most of or most of the stocks. Um, what you might know, maybe similar to um, uh, to penny stocks uh, in, in some ways. And um, as I said, um, the main facts is the trading hours the um, volatility and as, um, as well that there are no news or earnings or something like this but um, there's yeah from the moment um, really a high selection it's not loading um, of different cryptocurrencies for every price range and uh, most of them are in the same way what we see here very volatile just for example we are talking here the lowest price in the last three hours was uh, thirty seven thousand and seven hundred fifty dollars the highest price today was above um, 40 uh, almost forty thousand and three hundred seventy so this is a range uh, we are talking about here from three thousand dollars today um, for for one bitcoin of course you have to always calculate it um, to the percentage um, but that's exactly what we see here almost um, 10 percent and this is a normal a normal day without a big um, volatile movement so yeah also for intraday trading this can be something really interesting and um, yeah vol volume volume wise um, especially in the big and uh, the big cryptos that's also not an issue for for bigger size and um, everything else um, yeah we will show you in the next one of the next videos so i will be happy um, if you subscribe to our channel and i hope to see you soon thank you very much